What's going on guys? Um, John Hardwick here and um, some pretty sad news coming out of the, the Pokemon community. I found out yesterday morning and everything about Rachel Lillis. No, she didn't pass away. But unfortunately, <clears throat> it was just revealed, I believe, yesterday morning that um, she's been battling cancer for um, the past several months. Now, I knew something was suspicious because um, Rachel had planned two convention appearances in Texas. One in Houston in Collecticon and another in San Antonio for Nostalgicon. She canceled both appearances and um, her last convention was, I believe, in March in L.A. for Collecticon. And um, from what I saw with pictures, pictures I saw, she was using a walker to get around and um there was somebody who took a video of them trying to meet rachel and they said rachel had left early that because she wasn't feeling good i'm like that's not good and um i asked all over facebook about what was going on with rachel i got a tweet from somebody sharing a gofundme page saying rachel had been diagnosed with cancer and um um that i got i got I got it from one person, but then Veronica Taylor, who was the original voice of uh, Ash Ketchum, she shared the GoFundMe, and it spread like wildfire throughout the whole, like, voice acting and Pokemon community. Eric Stewart shared it, you know, Tara Sands, Lisa Ortiz, a whole bunch of the people that worked on Pokemon shared it. And, um, I donated to the, um... I donated about ten dollars. This is really what I could afford, but I might I will donate more. But um basically she was diagnosed with cancer, I believe, at the beginning of this year or last year. But um she's from according to what this um article in the GoFundMe said, um she's been in a nursing home since January. And um, she's trying to raise money to try to get some home health care. She's had breast cancer that spread to her spine. Now, I'm no cancer expert, but, you know, if you do, like, basic research, if cancer spreads to your bone, especially your spine, your chances of survival are pretty much slim to none. Like, on average, best case scenario, you're going to live for, like, two years. And that's a best case scenario. And it is really, really sad. You know. <clears throat> you know, I have memories about Rachel growing up. You know, when I was a little kid, I watched the Pokemon anime a shit ton. Like, when it used to come on, like, Kids WB. You know, like, I was growing up in the early 2000s. I was born in 98. Shortly um, after um, the Pokemon anime premiered in the States. And I watched it a ton as a little kid. And it lasted for years and everything. It did change channels. You know, after Kids WB, it went to Cartoon Network and then Disney XD. And now it's on Netflix. But um, it was um, it was a really good... I grew up with that. With the four kids dub and everything. Especially the original trio. Ash, Brock, and Misty. You know, that was... That th those are like you know Ash, at, those are the good days, man. And um, I met Rachel about two years ago at a retro expo, as you can see right here. You know, yeah, we didn't really. Me and my brother really didn't get close to her and everything, and because you know she just preferred taking pictures this way. But it was really nice meeting her. She was pretty cool, and um. Here's the voice recording of her as Jessie that she gave me. And I just wanted to say it was so nice of you to come by the tape. Okay, um, I don't know if you can hear it. Hmm? Your name is John? Yes. What we'll do over here? Thanks. <laughs> Hello, John. This is Jessie of Team Rocket. And I just wanted to say it was so nice of you to come by the table. I really, really appreciate it. And remember, John, prepare for trouble. 
Wow, that was that was awesome. I'll always keep that recording. I always will. It's and just I'll add the I'll put the link to the GoFundMe in the description and in the pinned comment. You know, it's like I want Rachel to get better, or at least you know. Unfortunately, it seems like the cancer is terminal. I just I just want her to spend her final days you know knowing that she's loved by her friends family and the community and you know i i pray for her god bless her soul i hope she gets through this but it's like fuck cancer man cancer sucks anyway this is john hardwick signing out have a good